Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and this is going to be the second tutorial in the series of isometric drawings. Okay, and here is the problem. This is the front view and this over here down below is the top view of a certain object. Okay, we don't know how this object looks, but we're going to figure out by constructing this over here. Okay, so we what we're going to do is we are going to mix this um, the front view and two view and we're going to create a 3D view out from it. Okay. Um, it's popularly known as the isometric view in which all the three dimensions of an object are clearly visible and can be measured directly from it that's what you call an isometric view fine so we will have a different approach to this problem um, i had a different approach in the previous tutorial if you have seen that and if you haven't seen the previous tutorial you should definitely go back and see it anyway so we're gonna right now focus on this one front view top view and uh, let's start by initially drawing a line over here okay here we have a line fine then again I'm going to draw an isometric axis um, that has to be done at an angle of um, say 30 degrees right this way fine now the next thing to be done is we, we've got to have one more isometric axis so we're gonna draw it from this point and uh, again randomly I'm choosing any length uh, but the angle has to be 30 degrees fine all right so this was the second isometric axis this one is for length this one is for breadth and there is going to be one more and that's going to be for height okay now if you look at this figure in the top view you can clearly see that this length over here <coughs> if I say if this breadth over here is 100 and this length 25 plus 25 plus 25 and this should work out as 75 in totality so guys we can clearly say that the um, overall length of this uh, object is 75 and the overall breadth of this object is 100 so what we're going to do is we're going to fit in this 75 along this axis and this 100 over here along this axis so let's do this why wait 75 along this axis so yeah that's pretty much okay so this length over here corresponds to 75 millimeters and this next thing that we've got to do is 100 millimeters so this I suppose is 100 millimeters okay so this is 100 millimeters in fact okay so what we're gonna do right now is we'll create a box of having a length of 75 having a breadth of um, 100 and having a height of this height can be figured out from this front view you can clearly see that the height of this object is 48 millimeters okay so let us initially construct this space and I'm gonna have this you can keep your mini draftless along this line and then make sure that you tighten the screw then go from this point to this point you'll get a parallel line an absolutely parallel line okay same stuff has to be repeated over here also you can keep your draftless along this line make sure that you, uh, the screw is tightened move to the next point over here and here you have it the base of the box now all these four points will be elevated or given a height of 48 millimeters um, something like this let me do this let me show you um, this is going to be 48 right all right so I'm going to copy this over here also you can do this stuff with the help of a drafter pretty easily and in pretty much the same time okay that's it guys now what we're going to do is we will join all these points okay um, starting from this one this one this this that's it okay in order to avoid confusion right now these are the edges which will not be visible practically in this isometric view so I'm, I'm, I'm going to delete them okay for proper visualization okay so what happens is we're going to start off by drawing this front view you can clearly see this uh, seems to be some kind of a step alright so this step is going to have a height of 16 you can clearly see this over here okay I'm gonna zoom it on zoom on it this is going to be 16 and then over here this length over here so this corresponds to you can clearly see over here this corresponds to 25 25 okay so 16 25 again 16 and this length over here this guy this length from this point to this point this again is how much 25 and then back at the top okay 16 25 16 25 again 16 and then this is obviously 25 okay so we are going to draw this profile from the front and let's see we are going to figure out eventually as to how the object looks um, so let's do this quickly so 
I'll go 16 steps above and then then what this is going to be 25 all right then again 16 above uh, wrong again 16 above this way yeah pretty much and then again over here 25 then again above this way okay um, 16 pretty much okay that's it guys so this profile this front view sort of a profile has been done and now we have to figure out uh, about this okay so the front view is done and we need to worry about this you see this line over here from this point to this point the length of this line is going to be 100 minus 36 so 100 minus 36 is equal to 64 so this length over here from this point to this point is 60 um 64 yeah so what we'll be doing is we'll try to draw a line from this point from this point over here so you can keep your drafters along this line tighten the screw then keep your drafters along this point and then draw a line of 64 millimeters i'm going to show you how you need to do that okay that's it that's the way okay and you can clearly see that this line over here this line over here is absolutely parallel to this line over here so again the same stuff has to be repeated and this length is in fact 50 millimeters from this point over here to this point so let's again draw a line and should be parallel to this line over here okay that's it okay so we have drawn this profile okay we have drawn this profile okay now we need to project the point the these so-called points in the backward direction okay how can that be done again this it appears as if there is only one point over here but when you look over here there are actually two points one over here and the other one over here okay this line i'm going to draw this line again from this point this way yeah and again from over here also from here also and from this point and from this point all right guys that's it so that's what you call a step and the next thing to do um, it's it's pretty simple now you need to join this 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 stepwise and then here you have the 3d view of this um, 2d view this is the 2d view and this over here is what you call the 3d view now now guys uh, <clears throat> there are few modifications and there are few enhancements that you can carry out i'm going to show you what what else can be done um you can you can actually have an edge pencil right now uh, now initially this was this whole drawing was made with the help of a 3 edge pencil okay so make sure you are using the right pencil and finally in order to darken or show the outlines with the help of edge pencil okay uh, a bit in order to make this look look a bit more realistic we're going to use uh, an edge pencil and for that please watch this carefully i'm going to drag darken the portion which is going to be um what do you call visible clearly so let's uh, draw them that's it keep on watching and you're going to eventually realize as to how this object uh, turns out as it's pretty good looking very really nice now isn't it <laughs> um, keep on watching guys uh, this this is a uh, really fun stuff and what's left this portion over here is left and let me darken this portion all right what's next then this portion over here and this portion over here and let's let us talk in them also okay and if you want to if you if you want to clearly see the iso called isometric axis so this guy's over here is an isometric axis this over here is an isometric axis and this over here is also an isometric axis you can refer to them as x y and z axis and if you want to check the angle between them they should work out as 120 degrees so this over here is 120 
and let us check further um, this angle is also 120 all right and this should also figure out as 120 degrees so as I've already told you that isometric um, axis constitute an angle of 120 degrees between them all right and any line which is parallel to an isometric axis is an isometric line so you, you can clearly see that this line over here this line over here um, this line over here this over here this one these are all the lines which are parallel to this isometric axis and hence they are an isometric they are what you call um, isometric lines similarly um, uh, parallel to this isometric axis you're gonna have this line this line and several other other lines all right so these are what you call isometric lines so this whole family of isometric lines um, can be composed together in, a, in to form an isometric view all right the family of isometric lines uh, make an isometric view that's what I'm talking about all right so guys <coughs> that was all from my side and if you have any doubts or queries uh, feel free to ask and or write them down in the comment section below um, this is Manas Patnaik signing off take care bye bye and keep drawing